homeboy got played. Who? Uh, uh, the the gay Arabian guy. Oh uh, yeah. Right, oh, that nigga busted that fiery. <laughs> he did. He did. I watched it. I, 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 I watched the whole thing. It's like you said it was graphic. It wasn't that graphic. I mean, you you saw one dick. Like I've seen more on that in glimpses of gay porn when I accidentally looked for a regular porn. Uh huh. Accidentally looked. For, okay. Yeah. I All mean, right. I mean, it, it wasn't too bad though. It, it was serviceable for what it was. I mean, Soft porn at best. For me, for me, when I say graphic, I was like, I never. It was just like an animated nigga. Like when they do those see throughs, I was like, mm-hmm. whoa. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah. That was cool because it's like it's. Outside of the whole gay sex and him, you know, receiving his energy, you know, in the most, you know, politically correct way possible. I could say that. Yeah. Uh, a fiery <laughs> nut in that nigga's backside. With all super cosmic and with it. Are, are, we, uh, are we recording? <laughs> yes, we right are. Now? Yes, we are. <laughs> but, um. <laughs> Yo, he, he lit that motherfucker up. Oh. You lit him up like a lantern, dog. I mean, yo, yo, worn out, man. Yo, yo, it was like you changed his life. Yo, yo, was like, oh, I had sex with him. Oh, this is my cab now. Oh, I quit Bro. my job. I was like, all I gotta do is find this dude. Like, like I want him. Like, that's my life. Bro, Whoa. He, he got him <laughs> so he got him sprung. He did. When I saw, like, yo, first, first off, when I saw it, I was, I was like, that's that's going in there pretty far, man. <laughs> oh, like that's. That's far in there, dog. He he's touching that dude's soul right now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, like he was, you know, and it, like it, it, it showed like the like their spiritual forms or whatever, and it showed him receive the guy's energy and whatnot. I was, I was like, okay, that's you know, I thought they were being metaphorical, but I guess it works in a cosmic sense too. Uh, I'm for me, I'm like, how are you not dead, good sir? Your yo inside should be good. Yeah, that's that's the inside like, out. Like, um, I was going to ask you, like, what was the point of that? And then they never really mentioned it again outside of, you know, them getting the taxi and, and going to Kentucky. There but, is no point other than he had the best sex of his life. Oh, okay. So they, that's not going to be anything or anything later or something? It will. Okay. It will. Because it's like, I was watching and I was like, okay, well, because then, like, I figured he was going to be there when the guy woke up. But yo straight up gave him a one night stand and was out. Yeah. Without yeah, his yeah. clothes. <laughs> uh, oh, flip! Hey, flip to the uh, other screen for because I can't see us. Oh, you can't. Okay, uh, I'm just looking at the picture. Damn, my bad. Uh, uh, you good? You good? Um, with that, it's the let gin. me know. Uh, let me know when you see it. That's I good. can't. Okay. Yep. So, so the gin, he he grants wishes. Mm-hmm. But for the other guy, his wish was to have another life mm. because his life sucked. Yeah. So essentially when he did that, he gave him another life. He gave him his taxi, mm. his keys, you know, mm. ID, everything. And it was basically for him to get out of the, out of his mundane life. Of, mm. uh, what was he, a salesman or some shit? Yeah, uh, a, been travel, the first a, one. a travel salesman or something, he said. Yeah, had, had that he man waiting all day life. for a meeting. That was fucked up. Yeah, so his his life with the taxi now is like he's able to go meet new people and just like drive around kind of free and like be his own boss. Okay. I didn't really understand that because it's like taxi services usually have a boss to answer to though. But yeah. Whatever you know, I think there are some taxis that's like one offs, but I think I think yeah, whatever. Yeah. But um, yeah. So he goes and he just basically he wants to go find this gin that changed his life. But he, it's not about the whole life changing. It's just that he gave a really good dick. You know what I mean? He was like, wow, hit you with this cosmic energy. You know, like, hit him with that fe- that yeah. Phoenix Force. Dude. You know, you hit him with that Arabian Nights. <laughs> Had uh, had that man singing that 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 Aladdin song from uh, you know the Jasmine the Carpet Ride one. Like Arabian days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was cool. But like I thought that um the whole you know I thought it was all metaphorical because it showed the guy's eyes light up and everything. So I'm thinking like okay is that how they make other gin? 
I, and maybe I, but I, like, like he was like, like you know like he was killing himself but reincarnating as a gin inside of this other guy and i thought that's where i thought they were gonna go with that that would have been so dope because that's what i thought too i was like mm. he's oh he's about to take his dude's body you know what i mean it's like mm. he's he's either about to take his body or because when he when he got out and he like yeah. walked down the stairs he, he just he just he, he put on the other guy's shirt walked right to the cab yeah. and it was just like all right this he, is... he put on the glasses like yeah. okay i'm like oh yeah. do do yeah, that's, that's that's exactly what I thought. And I was like, and then he was still himself. I'm like, wait a minute. I, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just he just like took on the persona of this guy. And then the other thing is, like, when I saw that, he's like, everyone talk, like everyone eventually talks about his flaming eyes. I'm like, can mm-hmm. he light a cigarette with his eyeball? Though? Like, can he just be like. That, that is an know? awesome and look, just, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, the part like, that. Like, the part that got me no. was when he was driving the dude. And he fell asleep. I was like, yo, is this dude really asleep? <laughs> yo, knock the hell out that front seat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then but, they um, kind of made it look like, or um, or at least maybe it's they're showing their, I guess, connection when he touched him on the shoulder and the other guy touched him. Um, I didn't know this was going to be that gay scene until, you know, a few, a few scenes later. But as I was watching it, I was like, okay, why are they making this so sensual? Like, is... Because I thought that since the maybe I'm looking at it two, you know two different ways, but I, was the was the gin the guy that they showed? Um, because I remember uh, Shadow Moon and and Mr. Wednesday going to like a diner. Mm-hmm. I think it was this diner that they were at, or maybe like one in a city somewhere. And then he was like, "All right, go buy some things," and he went around and bought stuff and came back. He w- bumped into the gin guy. Mm-hmm. And as he was leaving, see, yeah. when they showed the episode with the taxi, in my mind, I don't know how I did this, but I guess they were both wearing like blue suits. So I thought that the 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 gay guy was the gin that he bumped into, and that's why they showed him at the beginning of that episode and everything. So I, when he touched him in the taxi, I was like, okay, well, if if he's the gin guy. Is he giving some kind of power to the taxi driver? And then they showed him no. slump over, and then they showed the eyes and everything. So I was like, "Oh, okay." So I had that backwards. They um, so with that, with I mean, I'm that, assuming it's it's just them showing as like kindred spirits, and just so that they no. can lead into. Yeah, so the, so the other how scene. that goes is that there are, uh, of course, it's called American Gods, and it's all about the belief that people have in them. Mm-hmm. So it was the belief that oh he remembered um, his belief and from as a kid he knew his parents always t- or his mom always talked to him about what what gins were and genies and mm-hmm. like for him it's like that magical unicorn like what would happen if I ever fucking met an actual wizard you know what yeah. I mean it's he fell in love with the idea of it as a child and then he gets to see this in person and then he's like you know he shows him the flaming eyes and it's like oh shit this is actually like it's a real thing. So this Jin like basically reveals himself to him because he's like a worshiper of him. Mm-hmm. So he he about to give him that D. Thank you for <laughs> worshiping. You know what I mean? Thank you mm. for worshiping me. I you know you can worship this. You know what I'm saying? But like <laughs> yeah, that's that's so that's what happened. It's okay. it's nothing. It wasn't like a real. It wasn't like this real central part of the story. It was just a part of the story. You know what I yeah. mean? And it doesn't. I, I want to say that story doesn't really develop until season two. Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing I did like. Um outside of the main plot, which is fucking awesome with with everybody yeah. involved in that. Yeah. Um that that uh that 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 cool ass black motherfucker, that British black dude that plays motherfucking death or Anubis rather. Cool as oh. shit. Yeah. <laughs> what yeah. his sexy ass voice. <laughs> yeah, no. You talking about you talking about a uh, uh, a homeboy when when the dead chick went to went to that spirit world and he was weighing her weighing her soul or wearing her well, heart. Well, well, yeah. Well, well, then I was like, yeah, his his dead girlfriend was shitting all over him. I was like, oh, you fucked up. Well, Dubis is known for his wrath, bro. You bro. you 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 fucked up. But then like. Uh, when they introduced all of that with the whole Egyptian, because I know that's that that's what he does, um, but like they had the old um, the old um, Egyptian lady. I'm guessing she was Egyptian. Die in the kitchen, and he mm-hmm. did, did did all that with her, and I uh, and, and I was like, oh okay, so this is cool as shit. You know, it's like you know they're they're showing you the whole Egyptian pathology of him passing people on to the land of the dead and all that kind of sort of stuff. I was yeah. like, that's super cool. 
and then it got to her turn, and then I was like, "Oh, you are a bitch!" <laughs> like I didn't realize like, how much of it was like, like, like as, in the beginning, shadows like, "Oh, that's my wife. I'm trying to get back to her. I love her." And then you find out when she dies, it's like, "Oh no, she was cheating on you and this." And then it's like, "No, you didn't know how deep the well went." <laughs> mm-hmm. And then he would cut the way her soul. She was just being just a bitchy as shit. And it was like, "Oh, like you don't debate with death. Like what the fuck?" Like, like <laughs> I say this, like instead of them just going all wrath, I love how patient they made him yeah they made like i you know this dude probably hears everything like the whole what they call it the 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 steps of or or the the death whatever like the, steps, the stages of death and all that stages of, yeah stages of grief that's what it yeah. is anger mm-hmm. denial you know bargaining acceptance like, and all that he's they heard he's probably heard everything yeah. so he's like everybody who dies now. probably tells him, tells him yep. that. <laughs> go ahead get it out i'm not gonna yell at you because i got like 50 million other motherfuckers to go after you like mm. he probably hear it all the time but it's like just that that tone that he had and that patience that he had yeah i was like man i hope this bitch gets the wrong door you know what I'm mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, like she made me so mad dog yeah. i didn't i didn't understand how how like shitty of a person she was. Even yeah, dying. It's like, dang, I hate her. Yeah, like like she she's the weakest link in the show to me. Even, um, I think Sheba, the black lady in the picture there, mm-hmm. you don't really see her all that much. They kind of explain who she is and what she does, which is kind of weird because I've actually seen one of her sex scenes like a year or two ago without realizing it was a part of a TV show. <laughs> but um. It's it's like even her. It's like okay, you want to dislike her, but at least she has a purpose. That's that's what she does. The ex-wife is just like okay, you're the weakest link in the show because it's like you're not doing anything besides getting to Shadow. Can you hear the air right now? A little bit, but it's all right. Still good. Well, I got so do you have that thing on that's like mm-hmm. stopping? The, oh. I mean, it's, I mean, it's on. It's like it's making noise every once in a while, but you fine. Okay. Uh, I don't really understand Sheba's role mm-hmm. other than consuming people. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel like if she was a god right now, she'd be strong as shit because the OnlyFans is a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I thought they were gonna do with her character because when uh when the technology kid came up, it was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do the thing, and I was like, I was like, oh shit, is he gonna make her into a porn star and make her make her the world's biggest porn star? That would make so much sense. But it but was, no, like, it was just like dating app, and I was like, oh okay, that makes sense too. <laughs> I mean, I guess, but at the same time, OnlyFans. You know what I mean? Yeah, but if it's about if it's about Patreon. worship, it, it, yeah, if it's about worship and stuff, I figured they were gonna make her like a a social media symbol or like a porn star, something like that that people can go up, see, consume, and that's their way of worship. It makes sense. But um, it's Patreon. It yeah, is. it makes you know that's the, that's why I thought they were gonna go that way, but. But but I can see why they chose the dating app because people have to download it. It's named after her, so anybody who uses it is that's their way of worshiping her. So that makes yeah. sense. But I'm assuming she's just I mean her killing people, I guess you can say, or having mass orgies and then killing everybody and taking their spirits or whatever. It's just what she does. That's that's her point. You know the whole femininity and all of that life and stuff. So I was like, okay, so she's just existing or trying to exist. Um, I also like the fact that. Um, I didn't like the, well, I didn't like the fact at first of how, <clears throat> when the dead chick came back, Anubis was looking for him and immediately when they found her, it's just like, okay, we're going to teach you how to take care of your body and we're going to do all this stuff for you. I'm like, why, why can't you just, you know, kill her or, you know, remove the coin and then reap her spirit as it were. But can't. I'm not, I'm not sure why they didn't just, they can't, why it's like, it's, well, one, they don't like the gods aren't really supposed to like just blatantly murder. So it's like a oh, yeah. mm-hmm. usher souls. He doesn't reap souls. That's, oh, that's not oh, his job. Okay, I get you. I get you. Yeah, he's like the fairy man mm. from like um, Norse mythology. Um, and also, that coin apparently is very, very, very powerful. Now, that's something, that's something that they allude to in season two. And it's not like a spoiler, but it's just like mm. they mention how strong the coin is. Um, okay. That's not something that was in the book of how strong that coin is. 
It okay. was just, it was just a, it's a, it's a, I forgot what they called it. It's a writing tool to keep the story moving for her character. I'm a guppin. Yeah, I'm a guppin. How easy would it be for just someone to snatch? Like, you know, I'm gonna take them down. For yeah. Day, snatch, and then she drops dead. It, it can't. It, What's the point it, of having her character in there? Exactly. Uh, if that's gonna happen, I get you. So he even like uh, Sweeney. I keep on calling him Sweeney Todd. Um, Sweeney, right? I cool. Sweeney, the the leprechaun. Uh, Mad something. Mad, Mad yeah, Sweeney, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. yeah, leprechaun guy. So he he already said the rule of the coin is it it can only be given willingly. Yeah. It can't mm-hmm. be taken. So if that rule doesn't just work for him, but it works for everybody, then they couldn't remove the coin anyway. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Also, like the um, Anubis's partner, the guy with the glasses right behind your head in the picture. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget what his god's name is, but he's another Egyptian god. Uh, Thoth. Yeah. I thought, um, I, I liked how they did him. It's where he was, he's the teller of the stories of somebody's experience or life or whatever, and Anubis is the guy who preps the bodies and stuff. You know, because they work in the, in the whole, uh, uh, I want to say crematorium, but I, I, that's, uh, I, don't, I don't think that's the right, the right, the right term for that. It's a uh, mortuary, mortuary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like, I like that whole thing. You know, he picked up the phone. It was like, uh, uh, Ibis and something Anubis and Ibis was like, he said something, but, 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 you know, I was like, okay. So he's, you know, that's, that, that's their job. Uh, yeah. You know, I was like, that's, you know, that's cool. Um, yeah, that's mm. <laughs> like, like that's probably my, my best part outside of shadow and Mr. Wednesday's whole thing. Which is like, as that's going on, I'm in this like, oh man, I have nothing but fucking questions. That's why when I was hitting you up in Skype when I was watching it, <laughs> like I have so many questions about what's going on. And as you watch it, it kind of wraps up and stuff. What's up? That, dude, that dude's name is Mr. Evis. Mm-hmm. The gods, the, his... The yeah, his... Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. That dude's an asshole. Like, like you, you find out later on that it's like, oh, fuck that. You know what I mean? Oh damn! Is this like yeah. the girlfriend? Like, is it that bad? <laughs> it's 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 one of those. It's one of those. That's that's pretty dirty. You know what I mean? That's pretty mm. dirty to keep though. You'll you'll see. Okay. Yeah, I think they say it like maybe third or fourth episode into the season two, like because mm. they have you know probably a little bit later than that because they they do a little bit more around the mortuary, but you see how he still has operations going because that's really all he does. You know, back then, people used to die quick. Yeah. Now it's one of those, you know, mm. health care is a thing, all that kind of stuff. So how are they still making money? And you kind of find that out. It's like, oh, fuck that dude. That's oh, so he has a shady side business on the side and did that. Okay. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's shady as shit. Um, Was he like an assassin or something? Like he, he going I, around killing people? I'm telling you. I'm <laughs> Pulling a... Pulling a Dexter, like, oh, like I, I need somebody for my book. It's time, time to go to work. I'm not telling. <laughs> Wait, so in season one, did they talk about like um did like did he tell a story? Like did you hear him telling stories? Yeah, he told uh there was one whole episode about him telling a story about something. Oh, like how- like I for, like like I forget the specifics of it, but I remember it was like a whole episode he's telling the story of something. How dope is his voice? How dope cool. is his speaking voice? Like so when I when I said I would love to hear him like do an audio book mm-hmm. like that like just him telling the story it's like this is like young Morgan Freeman yeah I, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah I've seen him from something else I can't remember what but I but I've seen him in in other movies and TV shows before yeah um, Anubis does show up in his dog form. Mm-hmm. I thought that, that, that was cool too. I didn't, I didn't peep that until you know. I was like, okay, well, I thought it was just the new was taking another form of another black guy. I thought he was gonna be the guy walking the dog, and then when they stopped, he stood up, and I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense, cause yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, he came with backup this time. Yeah, <laughs> he's exactly. really about to who get the fuck, it. Who the fuck is this dude? He's just like, he's just the walker. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just for appearances, it's like mm-hmm. that's dope. That's yeah. dope. Um, what what else ha- happened? Um, so dead girl, like, I'm not finna blame the actress. I just I'm a, I'm gonna blame the show's writers mm. on that because she wasn't that much of a dick in the show. I mean, in the book, mm. she did fight, and, and she did fight. She is strong, mm. but she just 
she just wasn't so, that much of an asshole. She did threaten everybody about like Shadow. Mm. You know, you hurt him, I'll kill you type yeah. thing. She did do that. She just wasn't just super bitch to everybody. Mm. Uh, that's something that they did for TV. And it just, it does make her character stick out like a sore thumb. But at the same time, I feel like in, in a sea of characters that stick out, what can they really do to her that's going to yeah. make her stick out like that? And yeah. somebody that cheats and, and that kind of thing, they would probably be insecure and, fi- and still have those same insecurities and, yeah. you know, blame everybody else but themselves. Yeah, she was she was a bitch of a character. Like, when they had that whole episode about her and her sleeping around, I'm like, okay, whatever. She was cheating because he was in jail, blah, 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 blah. But then it was just like, he, you know, he was like, oh, I'm in love with you, blah, 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 blah. She was like, no, let's go rob the casino. And he was like, what? <laughs> and he did that shit too? I was like, you dumb ass bitch. like like the whole the whole dynamic of like their relationship and shit of like her calling that man puppy i was like let let a girl call me fucking puppy she she would get cussed out right the fuck then and then when he first seen her she's like oh can you go get something for me puppy like puppy this puppy that i'm like yo this dude is he Mm. he don't he he ain't submissive because you can read it in him that he not but the fact that they're she treats him like that that just makes her out to be even more of a bitch um, there's a reason for that. So, oh, there is? Puppy, okay. There is a reason for that. Okay. Um, again, like, I'm coming from somebody that read the book already. Mm. So, when I, when I saw the TV show, it was like, oh, they're they're pretty much being true to the story. Okay, so that, that that's, you know, they're going to follow up with that. Okay. Season two, they follow up with that. Okay. Um, I thought that was just like an insecurity thing with her of like, that's just how the, how she treated them because she was just, uh, uh, you know, a domineering bitch, <laughs> so to speak. Not at all. No, okay. No. That's that's actually a a pet name. <laughs> oh, I know, <laughs> but but yeah, but still, you know, that's that's no, the whole. No, it's like it's, it's straight affection, and okay. and both both of the characters know that it's straight affection. Uh, okay, um, so so they're not like you know she's not you know treat them like oh you're my pet so I'm gonna treat you like you know I'm supposed to treat you like my man but I'm gonna treat you like like you're my fucking dog. Okay. No, like I I can completely see why you would think that, but and because mm-hmm. they didn't they don't explain it right away. They explain it in the book pretty quick, so that way you don't just like, why does she keep calling him that? You know. Mm. So, and here it just it's taken a long time to say why the fuck is this is this is going on, mm. because they're they're basically establishing on the first season they're establishing the relationship between Shadow and and uh, Odin, uh, mm. so. Mm. They're trying to establish that so hard, so every other kind of relationship just kind of gets pushed to the side. So they continue with these like puppy remarks and shit over here and, and, and all these other things because they need to explain it later because this this is essential establishing thing is yeah. taking up. That's the it's the main plot, and you have to. The, this show has a lot of explanation because if you just go in and just watch it, you're going to be lost until you get episodes in when you start piecing things together and they start telling you who each character is like um Jillian Anderson as uh Lucille Ball and all that she's a uh, Scully oh, from X-Files yeah. they still look good as shit shit that was Scully from X-Files mm-hmm. whoa <laughs> you ain't know that no. <laughs> so about, look, you know? wait 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 I'm looking it up yeah now. yeah Jillian Anderson I first seen it, you know, because it like when they showed her on, on the television, I didn't really peep it. I just thought it was like a rerun of Olive Lucy that they just kind of tweet. But then they had the scene of them getting locked up and she came to him. I was like, oh, okay, so that's Julian Anderson. <laughs> she killed it. Bro. I'm so <clears throat> mad now. Now I gotta go back and like rewatch it. <laughs> yeah, she still look good as shit. I know she gotta be like in her 50s or something like that. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah. They don't like the same person. Mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm like the X Files version of her, and and this version. Well, of course she has blonde hair. Like the new new Jillian has blonde hair, but it's like yeah. I did not see that. <laughs> and her acting isn't like stiff. No, because because X Files man, that was a, that was a hard pill to swallow. Like, well, she was meant to. Uh, well, like she was meant to be stiff. That was her whole thing. Was I'm going to be the logical science person, and Mulder's the the guy who's I'm going to believe in aliens without proof, no legend. <laughs> well, like I, I didn't like either one of their acting, so it's yeah. hard for me to follow because mm. because the, the the dude I forgot his name David uh, David Duchovny. 
David Duchovny reminded me of like a better looking version of the dude from Ghost Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider, yeah. Ghost Rider. Luke, uh, Cage, Nicholas Cage. Oh, Ghost Oh, okay. That Ghost Rider. I'm thinking of like the nineties T V mystery cartoon about the kids. Oh, <laughs> right off, now. It, was, it wasn't a cartoon, that was a live action. I, yes. I know, you know what I meant though. Yes. After school. Special. I was like, they never showed who the ghost was. Holy crap, I can't believe you remember that. Anyway. I'm old, man. I know kids nowadays probably, if, if anybody watching this, they ain't gonna know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You'd be lucky if they know who Wishbone is, but yeah. So so, so when I watched it, I used to watch like the stories, like the like the actual case files mm-hmm. was, be- was better than just watching them to argue about if aliens are real or not. It's like, bitch, you've seen yeah. all the damn, you see all the evidence <laughs> in the world. You can you can have a dead alien body in front of you right now. You still don't believe? Get yeah. the fuck out of here. Bye. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she she killed that part when she played Lucy. Mm-hmm. When she played a, a David Bowie, I was yeah. like, yo, she's killing this right now. Yeah. And then not, she showed up as um uh, Marilyn Monroe. I was mm-hmm. like, doing the whole Monroe. spotlight thing and the whole the <laughs> uh, fan under the dress thing. I was like, yeah, they killing it. <laughs> <laughs> Like the only thing I don't really get is um, the technology kid. I mean, I get who he is. I understand what he's doing. I don't I mean he's just being a dick. I just I just don't like him as, as a character. Yeah. But um, Mr. World, their boss or whatever, I don't really fully understand who he is or or what he represents. Talk about it season two. Okay, yeah, that's kind of still kind of it's like I have my idea of what he is, but. That that's still a big a big hole for me. If you think like okay, so the best way I can put the best way I can explain Mr. World would be if Zeus was not only the leader of all the Greek gods but mm-hmm. also the father. That's who the world is. Okay. The world is mankind's idea of how things go. So they explain they explain like a few other things. The fear mm-hmm. that that will make people do certain things is, is mm-hmm. you know, okay. It's like it's like that governing fear. So like uh, almost like um and because that's that's how he rules he rules fear. So that idea of you know like how, how everyone has moots. Mm-hmm. So at any given time, we can like, country can be like, hit this button. Yeah, and, and the world, we, and then everybody will be judged. So that you're the feeling of divine, not divine intervention, but divine retribution. No. I guess something like, is no. that what you mean? No, 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 no. no, no. There's an idea. So there's this saying. I was told this a long time ago by like one of my managers back at the city. So he was basically talking about, it's it's another word for stalemate. It's every single country who has. Oh, group, it's they're in nuclear this deterrence. Court. It's not a nuclear deterrent. It's, it's another word for that, okay. but it's it's like it's a it's a stalemate where at any given time a person can press a button yeah. that will la- launch a nuke to someone else's country or whatever. Yeah. At that time, when they find when the other country finds out, they will launch theirs. Yeah. The next country. Will yeah, launch it's a World War Three of the, of that whole thing. Yeah. It, no, it will be the end of the world. Like that yeah. will be it. Well, yeah. Well, 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 yeah, that's okay. that, 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 that's the whole World War Three, the thing that was in the Cold War with Russia. It's we have a button, you have a button. If you launch, we launch. So it's you know it would just end and a bunch of like you know the whole world would be affected by it. Yeah, but yeah. So so because of that, nobody presses it. Mm-hmm. But it's it's ever looming fear that it, that that it, it could happen. happen. Yeah, that's who he is. Okay. He, so so remember when I said the global reach? Yeah. Of of like how people are. That's him. Okay. So he's that global reach he's not only the fear that that people have of the world but mm-hmm. he's also like he encompasses technology he encompasses media because he uses media and technology to drive that fear to drive that fear yes so if to me and it could be wrong but to me like if i had to say he was somebody like he came from something he would mm-hmm. be like the the fear that fox news has yeah. And they show killers and murderers and rapists and shit. They try to get you scared of the world. That's who. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. Touch on that in a second. Love what they did with Vulcan, by the way. 
loved what he, what they did with it. He's he's the god of uh, fire, volcanoes, and shit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the uh, yeah, ro- yeah, yeah. He's uh, and uh, he he he's the Roman god of like you know how like Greeks. I think it's he's the I think Hephaestus. Ha- Hephaestus. Where where he's the Greek version of that, you know how like Roman and, and Greek their gods are split images of each other. Yes, wait, Hephaestus. He was so I, I'm my bad, but God of War. I gotta go back there. Mm. Hephaestus. He was the one that was um that had made the armor mm-hmm. for prayers. He's yeah. the you, you know how like um I forget what other gods is like that like like Ju- kept, like Jupiter his... and it's like Jupiter and Mars I think something like that. Yeah, Mar- but Mars but they're yeah, that, that that's who Vulcan is. Vulcan is the Roman god of like fire, the forge, and that kind of sort of stuff. Volcanoes. Hephaestus is the Greek version of that. But I liked how they took his his idea and spun it into the whole. Uh, uh, damn. Weapons. The, of the, the, the whole Second weapons. Amendment thing that America has and the right to bear arms and, and yeah, I love that. Because that's basically a whole social commentary on the right to bear arms and American thinking of like, oh, we can solve all of our problems with a fucking gun. And he went, he went into that whole spiel about them using firearms as like as a means of driving faith whenever somebody low or or let's say uses one of his bullets or uses a gun. And it's like every mass shooting in a theater is just worship to me. I was like, oh shit, that's that's a cool ass idea. So, so with um, like it was two two monologues that really hit me from that and it mm. was Anansi's monologue and his monologue and I yeah. love how at the very beginning you get you get this monologue from God that you know for black people right? mm-hmm. and at the very end you get the monologue from the God that that makes the bullets that kill those black people it's yeah. like that's crazy it's fucking amazing like at first like they showed like everybody wearing the the armbands, and I was like, okay, is this going to be a Nazi thing? Like, I don't get what they're doing. Like, is there a Nazi guy that I don't know about? <laughs> and then I was like, okay, so they're playing on the Republicans. They're making fun of that or something. And then once he got into his spiel, I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. The whole Republican thing, Second Amendment, that whole American way of thinking that we have of, about guns and worshiping guns and, and violence and shit. I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Makes makes a whole lot of sense. Love that. Oh. Love that. And it's funny because like you won't get that anywhere but here. Yeah, yeah. It's th- then that's another that, that's another reason why I like the show. It's like I like the fact that they're basically besides them showing you other cultures and their gods and their beliefs and stuff like that. Even though they twist it a little bit to fit the narrative that they're telling, mm-hmm. it it's it introduces somebody. Like if you didn't know shit about Anubis or Egyptian gods, if you didn't know who the other gods were or whatever, it kind of introduces you to that. So you can be like, oh, okay, so this is cool. Let me read up about this shit. Yeah, you know, yeah. I like that. Uh, I like the fact that it's social commentaries. Like they got to the episode about Easter and went all in. <laughs> about Easter and um, Jesus Christ. And I like the fact that they had all of the different Jesus Christ and stuff. And when he was talking about, <laughs> I was dying laughing in the episode when he was talking about, he was like, oh yeah, Mexican Jesus. He's like, he came over across the Rio Grande. You know, he's like, even Hilton, like he just bag it just, it's like his bag is just as wet as everybody. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he'll tell you yourself. That, <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like that, I'm gonna tell you right now, as a, as a, as a I know, Christian, I know, that, but. That, that episode was hard for me to swallow, bro. I was like, uh, I figured the man. Easter one would be your episode, but like that, but it's this, this, that's the whole thing is social commentary. Yeah. It's, it's, and, and I was dying laughing at that part. And then because he was also saying like, Oh, there's several Jesus. No matter. It just meant because several different cultures just have them. And, and they, they all exist. I like the fact that they said that they all exist, that they're yeah. just not saying like, Oh, it's just American. Jesus is, is Jesus. Like, you know, like that too. Yeah. Well, it's not like I believe in it, but like I like that yeah. idea that mm-hmm. that happens. It's a way I'm of not shitting on all the other religions and stuff. It's, yeah, yeah. Um, there was a um, what was the name of that book? What is it? um of an Irish wizard? Druid. Okay, it's a Druid book. The one that's like the Dresden Files, I think. The one you was telling me, Iron Druid or whatever. Iron Druid Chronicles. Chronicles. Yes. Mm. 
in there, they have, there's that idea. So he does actually meet the different Jesuses. Mm. And, and there's like, it's, it's basically like take American gods, but put it in the, in the eyesight of the, of an Irish Druid. Mm. Okay. So, so he comes, he, like he comes across all these different gods from like, from uh, native, native uh, people of mm. the land. They, they have their gods and, Jesus and everything. Like he talks about like Jesus is your own boy. Like he at there there's actually a version of that one. Okay. You know? Um that's like cool and relaxed. And then there's the the one that's on the cross. And he says like he says like that one goes through the most shit. <laughs> Cause I was like, with the way you said it, it's like, oh, he's on the cross, like he's on cocaine and like that no, his no, no, faith no. is like, cocaine or something. Like he's the one that got like fucked. Okay. So he always shows up with like the bloody feet mm. and the bloody wrist and stuff. It's like he's constantly in pain. So mm. he just when he thinks about people, he's like, I don't know why you want to picture somebody like that. Mm. So because they picture that, he he's, he gets created and he's hurting. You know, he's constantly constantly suffering. Yeah. So it's like okay, I can like that idea. So that episode was cool. It's just like the things that they say. Yeah. It's like. It's like it's really- it's it's heavy hitting with, in well I guess you could say insulting. I mean I mean if you want it's to take offensive. it there, it's yeah offensive. it's yeah like, but they it's, say it's meant to the be. most outlandish shit mm-hmm. about Jesus in there, and it's like I don't really hear you shitting on everybody else. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like it's like you you do that. So as much as I don't want to say this, mm. because Christian. Christianity is supposed to be one of those turn the other cheek type things. Mm-hmm. It's like you'd rather joke, crack jokes about a faith or religion that really doesn't fight back rather than, you know, talking about like any, not Buddhism, but uh, what is the other one? Muslim? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Talk about their religion, like your fucking yeah. writer's house is going to get bombed. You know what I mean? It's like, well, I don't think it's. They probably didn't think about it like that. What it is is, come on, a, a, Well, it's they're not writing about it because they know that people ain't going to write back. What it is is, it's probably written by people who, let's say, who may or may not believe in God. I don't know if they do or not, or yeah. Christianity or whatever. So you have a whole show, which or a show or her or book. I'm assuming the book's the same way but it's satire and them doing social commentary on the religion in general. So in all of the movies and media, they don't touch Christianity. They don't touch Muslim. They don't touch a lot of that stuff. So in the one show where they're like, oh, we can actually touch this shit. They went all in to trigger people to, 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 to like we were talking about yesterday to, to get them emotionally invested one way or the other. Oh man. Oh man. Like, what? like <laughs> I understand where you're coming from, but at the same time, like the jokes about Christianity and about Jesus, like, like directly at Jesus, mm-hmm. it's like it's it's so harsh that it's like you, someone who believes doesn't have any choice but to be offended, other than yeah. knowing that it's writing. You know what I mean? I get but you. At the same time, I don't see that happening to other religions in this. Like I don't. Mm-hmm. Like they don't. They don't really. They're not gonna say. They're not. They, they're not gonna like curse. And say these things directed towards those gods, like they don't, they won't do that, you know. Mm-hmm. I guess in my heart, I still feel like, I still feel like, there's going to be that radical side of Muslim, that like, like that Muslim society that will be like, yeah, oh, be yeah it is what it is. I mean, people have been making fun of Muslims just as long as anybody else. Yeah, but not but, in, not in mainstream media like that. That uh, I wonder if I was making a show, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's but like it's it's they said all that but then when it got to the easter episode they showed it tons of respect so it's you know they didn't make fun yeah. of it in any kind of way they didn't need a lot of, you know because they could have shit on it a whole lot more there they just told the truth about easter and the holiday and where it came yeah. from and they even had american jesus <laughs> and uh what's his name had a conversation with him and they could have went all in with shitting on him again too you know either but they didn't you know so it, it's just it's, you know, I mean, again, and and owns a dick. He's an asshole. I know. <laughs> so I know. it plays just, into his again, character, and it, it makes a lot of there, sense. Here and there, it's like here and there. It's just this is one of those times that I'm looking at. I'm like, uh, let's just get past this part. Mm-hmm. I, I like I like the show too much to be like. 
Yeah. I know, that's but me, that's... I'll turn it off. It's just one of those. Please, let's mm-hmm. just move that's, on. that's that's the whole point. You know, that's that's, that's the whole point. And I'm yeah. sure they they probably wanted to do that with a lot of people who believed in in that kind of sort of stuff. But it's just you know. I like that in the book. It's not. It's, no, it's not okay, like that well. in the book. Like in in the for me in the book, it's like I thought it was gonna be like that. Mm-hmm. And and I, I I listened to it with a very like try I tried to be like as open minded as possible. It wasn't like that in the book. Like it, it wasn't like like some very very harsh criticism or a joke geared mm-hmm. towards any type of religion. It was like it was basically all respect across the board. Okay. But they did explain gods exist and all these other things, right? Mm. It was never just like some harsh ass criticism that would offend it. To me, that's just the show. Yeah. That's that's whatever writers on the show because Neil Neil Gaiman was the I wanna say I said that. He's the writer of the book mm. and he did work on the show. Like so he's the one that like made sure that Orlando Jones got hired and all these other people. But like there were showrunners too. There was like two or it was either two or one other showrunner that like made sure that it, that everything was accurate and stuff accurate and adapted and so there was a lot of other dialogue that was added especially with odin's part odin really wasn't like a huge dick in the book like that he mm. was very manipulative, but he wasn't like an asshole um, okay not like he is on the tv show so the like a lot of that stuff that he's saying it's more, it's one of those this is tv show we had to give him. yeah we had to give him something to say and do because he's going to be on screen 90 yeah. percent of the time yeah, okay. so so that's again that's where that's where my offense took hold. It's like ah, but if you could do this in the book, why could you do it like that on the TV show too? Yeah. Why does this have to be so fucking offensive? You know what I mean? Yeah. But again, it gets views. Whatever. Yeah. You know. I just, yeah, I try it's to yeah. If it's something like that, if that wasn't in the book, then I'm just gonna say that okay, maybe the guy who written all those lines, he was probably just an atheist. At the end of the day, I mean that's you know, and and maybe, maybe he feels some kind of way about. Christianity or whatever, but I don't know. I, th- I think it, it makes for good television because, uh, e- like, if, if I mean, I'm atheist, so I mean, I can't really jump into it from the religious angle, but I can watch TV for the sake of TV. It's not real. So if I was, let's say, religious, and if it did, let's say, offend me like that, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm just not going to watch it. It's, you know, or I could just watch it for what it is. It's not real. It's not like somebody's really challenging my faith with what they show on television. So, yeah. so it, it, it is what it is. But I can see how uh, you know you and other people you know who, who are religious can be triggered well, by that, as they say. So I have my limits. I'm not like Bible thumping, like oh, blast me this, blast me that. You know what I'm saying? Go mm. in the hell and all this other stuff. It's just one of those. Like some people like Family Guy, right? And they can enjoy yeah. it because it's a joke and it's funny, right? Mm. I can't. Because sometimes it's just like yeah. you're just overly offensive, you know. Like especially with all the racial humor, you know, that's mm-hmm. more geared towards. Well, they talk. I guess they talk about every race, really. But everybody gets that word. Yeah, the racial humor, the religious stuff. You know, it's the same reason that um, what do you call it? That I kind of stopped watching South Park because it just yeah. I get you. So, it's, uh, it's 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 it it. Now, how would I explain this, right? It's South it, Park was good because when they talked about race and religion, everybody had their come up with this, You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, they didn't hold it's, back on anybody. Yeah, they didn't hold back. At the same time, they didn't stay on it. Mm. So, so the entire season wouldn't be about a bunch of religious and racial jokes. Yeah, and then those parts that were racist, like when they had blackface on everybody, and Chef <laughs> came back and was like. He looked around. He was like, "All right, mm-hmm. everybody, line. it's like we'll fall your asses." It's like, <laughs> "Oh, there you go. Like that's that's your come up." It's like I like that. It's not just mm-hmm. I'm gonna make a racial joke just for the sake of it being racial. It or like when they was talking about Tolkien, you know, mm-hmm. talk, black kid yeah. name is Tolkien. I love that because it's funny. It's true, you know. Mm-hmm. And then they gave him all these stereotypes. Where Cartman was like, "Yo, I'm gonna need you to go to." You know your your dad's house. Go to the to the <laughs> attic and get his his bass guitar out the attic. And he was like, "I don't have a bass guitar." He was like, "Token, you're black. You got a bass guitar." In the attic. He goes home and he finds it. He's like, "Damn it!" Yo. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a running gag. It's, yeah, it's like, yeah. It's, it's, but like it's one of those. It's they they highlight it and they make fun of it and then they move on. Yeah, the the, the rules of comedy. I, I guess yeah. you could say. 
Family Guy is just like, can't, how racist can we be? Or like, how, how offensive can we be to, to, to get people to watch what we do? Yeah, it's like, but there's no context behind it. You show these one off clips of just like fucking racism yeah. or humor or something like that. But to me, it's not humorous, it's, it's cheap comedy. Yeah, you know, that's all it is. Different side of the same coin. You know what I mean? Mm. So I see when I see stuff like this, it's like some of the little, some of the dialogue parts, even though it's kind of like intelligent humor, is still one of those. That's a little offensive for no fucking reason. Yeah, you know, you don't have to be well. But it's Other than uh, that, still good though. I mean, it's I like the fact that that they don't because they could get like you know, like I've said before, they can get a whole lot worse with offending everybody in this show and they really don't it's like they're telling them whatever the story that they're trying to tell i wish orlando jones was in it more often so far i've only seen him twice <laughs> season two. Oh, he's in it a whole lot more in season two Ooh, season two okay okay yeah because so far he hasn't really done anything he had the speech about black people and then he uh was making the suits for both of them for when he was going to easter and he was telling the story about uh shiba and whatnot I, I love, I love it. Let me tell you a story. Like, it's like, it's like oh, we just, like, oh, nobody wants to hear it. Let me tell you a story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, please tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me a story. I love his stories. But um, it's like he's like he's an uncle that I wish I had. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Come on, uncle. what what you got to say? Put your drunk ass. You know, it's like mm. um, his character. I felt like his. With him, I really did feel like he was actually the conscience of what people are supposed to be. Because mm-hmm. he caught a lot of people out on that bullshit. Yeah. Even though he was a trickster, he didn't really do a lot of tricks. You know, like no. playing magic or anything like that. But he didn't do a lot, a lot of manipulation yeah. like that. He just really called. He was like the con man that, like, you can't bullshit a bullshitter. Yeah. That's him. So mm-hmm. he could look at somebody and be like, this is what you're doing right now. You need to correct that shit. You know? And mm. he fucked he fuck Shadow Moon like a like, <laughs> <laughs> He made him hate him so much. He, he would talk shit about him every chance he got. It was hilarious. <laughs> got that motherfucker all in his feelings. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Show was good. I can't wait to jump in uh, season two, to be honest. It's. Because where they ended off, they didn't really, you know, solve or do anything. It was just that, okay, they revealed who Mr. Wednesday was and, and the fact that he was Odin. And it, it looks like the gods, are, or at least the old gods, are messing with humanity to try to affect the new gods. And, you know, like, you know, they, uh, he had, or he talked Easter into taking the harvest away. So now people can't grow plants and eat. So, I mean, technically, if you think about it, the- He's he's basically somebody that doesn't like change, and he wants to yeah. keep things the way they are. Yeah, that makes like, sense. We talked about Anola, mm-hmm. and, and we were like, "Well, why the hell would would women or anybody try to stop the the vote from happening yeah. that would give women mm-hmm. the rights?" It's it's the same mindset of everything has been fine the way it is. I don't need to change anything because it may end up making things worse. Mm. So with him, hey. I don't have enough worship coming my way. I want things to go back to where it used to be, but that's not how time works. Yeah, that's not how society. Works. So mm-hmm. that's what he. That's what he's trying to do is to keep things the same and bring back the old ways and tradition. You mm-hmm. know? I get you. It's actually pretty cool because a lot of not only religions but cultures. Mm-hmm. You lose a lot. Um, tradition. Mm-hmm. Highly, highly, because without tradition. You, your identity as a culture or as yeah. an individual is lost. Mm-hmm. And that's what happens to a lot of cultures and a lot of things in, in the modern age. The more you progress, the more you get into and the sciences and all of that stuff, the more you, the more we as a species can prove, as it were, the less, the less you get away from religion, faith, and organized religion and all that, the less you have of your beliefs and like, oh, I believe in this, but if I can prove that that doesn't exist, you know, but then I like how the show stance is, is that just because the thought of you thinking about it makes it real, it makes it exist. I like that. That's their way of saying that it's like, okay, we're not discounting anybody. You know, we're not saying that, oh, your God doesn't exist, but my God does. 
you know they're just saying that like no you thought about it if you, if that's what you believe if you if you think about it that that exists so that's real what is real i like the whole fact that they've walked you through that with shadow moon's character of him like feel like he's going crazy and the whole time i'm like man just get on board already so we can progress like i got this shit like in the second episode let's go why are you still not believing in this shit yeah. <laughs> you're seeing somebody pull like 50 coins out of thin air you're like hmm that's that's that that'd be the first thought i thought I'd be like oh, wait wait that's some magic shit wait a minute hold up i can't prove how you did that but that's some old school magic shit <laughs> with that part okay everything else yes right like, mm. everything else that he was doing that that he had that odin had him do it was mm. like, come on, man, you can you you pulling a scully right now. Yeah. There's too much evidence. But with him with the coins, it's it's like when I saw it, it's like, man, magicians do that shit all the time. You know what man, I mean? Man, you can't tell me you hold your hand out like this and like a hundred coins fall out. And you're like, okay, you had to hold on to them some kind of way. He didn't have no long sleeve coat on. I know. <laughs> it's I like, know. come on, man. <laughs> if I I did, he's like, like, how many coins can your hand hold? <laughs> like, like right now, I, I'd say Whatever. You know what I mean? If I saw it. <laughs> I, yeah, if somebody I saw did that, that shit to you in person, you'd be like, what the fuck? It's, it's, it's one of those things where the human brain and the human mind is so used to seeing certain things that when you see something, and it's like that even with movies, it's like the Uncanny Valley, whenever they do something CG and they try to make it look real and the fact that it's not real and it's tricking your brain makes it stand out more because it's like your brain is geared to see certain things in reality and when it doesn't get that, it's like, it, it makes you see it that much more. But see, that's what I'm saying. Like, if I saw it on TV, it's like, whatever. You know? Yeah, but TV, it, like, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, like you, you have to be like this. And it's just like... <laughs> like yeah, like, like... Then I'd be like, all right, this thing's a wizard. <laughs> I'm going home. You know? <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yo, can you teach me that? Like, what's yeah, going on? No, no I'd be like, anything that comes with that does not come with goodness. I'd, I'd be like... Fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> like, fuck you. You'd be like, oh, no, that's some black magic shit. Stay away you know from me. Mean? Stay away from me. Appreciate the cash. I'm taking my ass home. I'm going to sleep. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't need an adventurous life like that. I'm all right. I'm good. You keep your gold, your fucking leprechaun, tall ass leprechaun. I'm good. Nah, something's weird. I like the fact that uh, they made a joke about it. He was like, oh, I'm a leprechaun. He was like, you're not short. He was like, that's a stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> you even talking about the Lucky Charm cereal. <laughs> oh, but yeah, really great show. I wish you'd have told me about it sooner. I'm going to probably binge watch season two probably tomorrow. For some reason, I thought you watched it. But uh, yeah, it's just, it's just because I have went and finished season two. I was like, wait a minute. You know, me and the Donald never talked about this. I'm, I need to tell him about this to make sure if, if he's seen it, we can talk about it. Also, the next thing I need you to to look up you've probably seen it already is dexter i've seen uh i think a season like one or two seasons of it i, I didn't watch it all the way through <laughs> why I, I don't know i thought i thought i thought man dexter's like right up your alley you should have been watched all that shit i mean well, well maybe i mean it's i remember what, what i've seen of it it didn't you know catch me i mean maybe i didn't watch it long enough but I mean, it was all right. I, I like I like the premise. I mean, I like the fact that he's trying to be a good guy, but he's going around killing people. Did you at least get to the surprise, motherfucker? Did you at least yeah. get to that part? Yeah, I got I got okay. to the black guy always trying to figure out what he you know what he's up to and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, not always trying to figure it out. Like, did you get to that part? The surprise, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. He's, okay. You know, I got you know I got what they got the meme from. Yeah. All right. <laughs> all right. Cool. Cool. Uh, they bringing that back. So, oh, they are. Yeah. With the, with, with the same white guy? Yeah. Okay. So it's a sequel, I'm saying. assuming. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not going to be like a whole season. It's going to be like one of those specials. So they're okay. going to be like, like a mini series or something like that, but he's going to be reprising his role. Okay. So I would assume it would be after whatever happens in the show. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you want to go back and watch it, man, now's the time. Okay. And, then, and also, also, I don't know if you noticed. Know but there's talks of them doing another season of Stargate SG-1. Mm, they've been saying that for a while. How would they do it, though? I mean, MacGyver is probably old as hell. Everybody else is probably still young enough to at least do it. So, are you talking about bringing back another season of Stargate SG-1? 
Mm. Fans have been trying to get that ball going for like 20 years. I don't know if it's going to work. Hoping it does. Don't know how I feel about it until I see it, but... I, saying, mm. saying I, I, I saw some recent news. I just thought I'd tell you. Just saying. Yeah. Yeah, there's plenty of YouTubes. Like all of the... What do they call Stargate fans? Gators or something? No, these are articles. <laughs> these are like okay. legit articles from like entertainment.com and shit like that. Right. Well, I mean, I hope it's I hope it's decent. That's all I'm gonna yeah. say. I hope it's decent. You know, because by everybody being old, if if you if you bring back SG One, then that has to be the original team, and the writing has to support the reason for getting all those old actors back together. Mm-hmm. And if you can't get the whole team back together, then it's like, well, you're just making a follow up to what you did, and it's gonna fall flat no matter what you do. So, I mean, the same. I hope they can make it work. Does it have the same writers, or did they say? If it had the I, same writers or not, I didn't, I didn't read into it. I didn't. I didn't feel like reading into it. I just like skimmed it. And I was like, I've been seeing more and more talk about it. So it's mm-hmm. like I'm. I'm just hoping that it's not one of those. It's probably Google because mm-hmm. I binge watch all the seasons and shit. Now it's normal watch history, and it's like oh, okay. So Stark ASG one news. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, that yeah. algorithm kicking in. But yeah. Sometimes I got like take the other pill and see what happens. Yeah. The way of the world, man. It's not going to change. It's going to get more involved. It's going to be like yeah. all those sci-fi books where you have like four or five different internets. Everything is going to have an algorithm that's geared towards either selling you something or getting information so they can use it to, to sell you more stuff or to get you to buy or get to get you to, you know, to influence you in some kind of way. It's going to happen. So that was season one wrap-up of Eric Yeah. I can't wait to watch season two and then and, and talk about all the, the sugary goodness that's going to, you know, come along with that. Yeah, let, yeah. let me let me get you this. Do they finish the show at the end of season two or is it just like once you watch it, do they lead into a season three? Lead into it? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's even better because, you know, because if season two is just as good as season one is, because I'm assuming this is all set up. Now you have the setup, you have the premise to what you want to go into with season two. And it's, you know, you're shaking your head like you like you know, like season two is a complete and utter disappointment. It's not a, it's not an utter disappointment, it's just more to it about. Okay. Okay. So Spoiler. hopefully Spoiler. Mm. the whole thing ends in part four. That's Yeah, that's, that's the whole point. point, yeah. It's just it's it's a it's a war cut. But even watching season two, I was like, shit, there's so much build up. Mm. Like, like literally, since these are hour long, mm. and there's like eight fucking episodes in each one, the book wasn't even that long. The, okay. book, the book was like maybe it was 16 hours. It wasn't even 16 hours. I think it was like eight hours long or seven hours long or something like that. Mm. Like, literally, they could have they done damn near the entire book. Over these past two seasons, but they're they're built. It's not like it's not like Game of Thrones where, damn dude, can you finish the fucking book so we can have more to yeah. so, so write? It's it's literally they're keeping they're it going because it's popular so much. Yeah, because it's popular and it's like the moment no, you tell that war, that's the end of your show. Yeah, yeah, it's like that's it. There's nothing else after that unless you make a spinoff or something. Like that. So it's yeah. probably end up going because. Like they're building up so much of the lore that you want to know more about. Oh, what's up with this knife yeah. guy? What's up with Anansi? Chill, chill, unfortunately. I mean, they could do something like that if they if they have the war. Then let's say show the new world that comes after that, and then you you'd have to introduce some other kind of thing that they were building to at that point. But you know, but um, they could. I mean, just yeah. like Walking Dead, all those spinoffs and shit like that, which yeah. was yeah, like when I'm watching it, I was like, "There's, there's so little of what's in the book in the second season." Mm. That's that's what disappointed me. It's like, where's the rest of the book? You know what I mean? Like, where's, where's maybe another few chapters of the book? Well, no, there's there's a few, a few parts, mostly the dead girl, mm. um, that, that happened in the book. And it's like, okay, I remember that part. I remember that part. I remember that. That was it. It's like it's no build up to the actual overarching story of like guys and their war. It's just 
stuff. Mm. It's like this they gonna drag they're gonna drag us out. They're gonna they gonna drag yeah. it till if they can't anymore and then they'll do another last season. And I can understand from an actor standpoint, you wanna keep making as much money as possible. Yeah. You want the show to keep going because that feeds everyone's families. As yeah. a fan standpoint, it's please don't drag it out. It's filler content. It's, it's 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 straight up filler content like we get in TV shows, animes, and everything else. And yeah. if it doesn't tie into the main story, what's the point in telling it? It's just to drag it out more, you know. Yeah. So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't want that unless if you're dragging it out like if they did that and then introduced a new point that let's say the book didn't have, and I was like, oh okay, so then it's building up to something that just wasn't in the book. Then it makes sense. But at the same time, if you're just building up and stretching things out and then it's like, okay, here's the same thing that happened in the book and all this stuff didn't have nothing to do with it. <laughs> it's just character arcs or side plots or whatever. Then it's like, yeah. It's but, still good. Don't get wrong. It's just like... Yeah. All right. I will check out season two and uh, we're going to be talking about that one once I watch it. It's probably going to be sometime over the weekend. Yeah, like 2021 to last season. Okay. Okay. But if I had to give it an overall rating, just to kind of wrap this up, two thumbs up for me. Highly invested. Like it. Like all the social commentary stuff that's right on my alley. Um, I'm hoping season two is just as good. Um, but usually over time, I know TV shows kind of, I mean, it's it, it, it's hard to keep the, mo- the momentum going. And I'm not sure if this is going to do that, but I hope it does. We'll see. All right, you want to have anything else to say before we wrap this up? I ain't got nothing else to say. Peace out, George. <laughs> Later, YouTube. <laughs>